guys today I'm doing my 34 week update I'll include 33 and 34 combine those two together I am almost 35 weeks pregnant and to be honest with you I'm feeling really crappy um, I have just been so sore and I've just been exhausted and there are days where I get up I work out I take a shower I get ready and I want to do nothing for the rest of the day and it's just been like taking naps and just really taking it easy like I've just been trying to take it easy because my body is just in pain it seems like I just like the whole like pelvic girdle pain and like my lower back my feet my feet I cannot be on for very long at all um, I have like complete numbness in my hands and I have numbness and tingling like up my arms so I'm not really sleeping very well either because I have like I wake up, it seems like clockwork. I wake up every single night, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. every single night. Today I woke up at 2 a.m. I literally stared at the ceiling for the longest time. I could not wait for my husband's alarm clock to go off because I was like, I just need to get up, I just need to get up. But I didn't wanna wake him up, so I was trying to just lay there and just like take it easy. So I lay there until his alarm went off and then finally I was like, thank goodness. It was like torture, just laying there and I had a million things running through my mind, a million things that I wanted to get up and do, and I just couldn't because it's 2 a.m. and I didn't want to wake him, and what crazy person does things at 2 a.m., you know? I hadn't been asleep very long, so I got up and started laundry, started cleaning up the house, worked out, took a shower, and now I'm filming. But I feel good today. Yesterday I didn't have very much energy. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and everything looks really good the baby looks good I was asking her some different questions because I didn't know I kind of figured it was normal so I didn't really want to bring up what I was like the symptoms I was having and she said it's normal I told her that I was having like the tingling and the numbness in my hands and at my arm that it's hard to sleep at night because I wake up because I have a complete dead arm like right now my hands are really tingly um, she gave me braces to wear on both of my hands because she said I have pregnancy carpal tunnel so I wore those last night for the first time and it, it was fine. It didn't bother me and actually my arm did not go numb the whole entire night. So that was nice. But it's just like to wear something on both of your hands when you're not used to it is a little different. So I wore those and it helped. So I'm, I'm thankful for that because the tingling is like it's it just annoys me. Like I can be doing my makeup and then I have to like shake out my hand or I have to like leave it hanging and just kind of like shake it out because it's so numb. So I'm dealing with that every day. Um, my feet are swollen, <laughs> like very swollen. Um, they're just puffy and they hurt. Like the tops of my feet feel like they're bruised and I think it's just because they're so puffy and swollen. Um, I'm at the point now where like none of my shoes fit. Like I am normally a six and a half and really nothing fits. I found a cute pair of booties the other day on clearance at Target and I bought those in a size 8 and they fit on most days like they're too like they're just a little snug in the back not snug too big in the back but they're snug like on top because my foot is so wide and swollen right now so that's just not fun when you're trying to find an outfit and you have like no shoes that fit other than like my fit flops. So that's been kind of frustrating. I cannot wait for my feet to be back to their regular size and I, my like puffiness goes away. So I'm retaining a lot of water and I've taken Epsom salt baths. I you know, drink so much water. I've done everything that I can and I think it's just one of those things that it just, it happens and sometimes you can't get rid of it. It's just, it's there. So I'm trying to deal with it and cope the best I can. I'm still having Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, my stomach is still doing that whole like tightening up. I notice it like early in the morning. Um, it's weird. It's almost like my abs are like contracting and I'm like, oh, I can feel my abs again. And then all of a sudden it's like, ha just kidding. They're gone. And it like releases. And I, I just feel that a lot. But sometimes with that whole like contraction, like I get really bad stomach cramps, like really just crampy and like not a really good feeling in my stomach. So I'm getting that early in the morning. And then the baby, he seems to get up like at 2 a.m. too, and that's probably why I'm getting up because he's very active um, from 2 a.m. until about 4. And then I think he like goes back to sleep for a little bit because I don't fill him again until like, usually like I eat breakfast or my snack. 
and um, I'm still counting like the fetal kicks. My doctor still wanted me to do that. So he moves um, 10 kicks. Usually it's within two to five minutes. So he's extremely active and always like moving around. And I know we still have time, but I feel like I'm running out of time. So I'm getting like a ton of things done. I'm just trying to like, we're about 95% done on the nursery. His bathroom is completed. That is completely done. Um, there's a bathroom that's attached to the nursery. So that is completely designed, decorated, finished. Um, his nursery, I just have like, we need to do the monogram and then hang up like one picture and that's done. So we finally like got that finished and I told my husband, I'm like, I'm tired of saying like, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Cause we'll always tell each other like, oh, we need to work on the nursery. We're almost done. And I said, I'm tired of just saying like, I'm almost done. I want to be done. Like I want that to be out of the way, completed and just one less thing on my plate to have to deal with. So we spent like the last weekend just like getting everything that we needed. And that week, and that could be why I've been so tired lately and really achy, I did all of his laundry, all the baby's laundry, everything, blankets, sheets, bibs, burp cloths, clothing, socks, booties, everything. I did like six loads of laundry and I was exhausted, like completely exhausted. And the only thing is after you wash like baby clothes, like they're brand new and they're cute and they're like pressed from the store and then you wash them and then you're like, oh, they're kind of like wrinkled and just not so cute anymore. Like all the little beanies and stuff are like all like wrinkled up. So my husband was like, I'm ironing everything because I just, I don't like how they look now. So we spent like half of the afternoon just ironing. Like we have two irons because he loves ironing. It's his favorite thing to do. He thinks it's therapeutic. I'm not a iron person. I hate ironing. So he, um, he has his own iron. I have my own iron because God forbid I ruin his because I just iron really quick. So sometimes if I go over something that has like a saying and it like burns on the iron, he'll like panic. So I get it. He has to wear dress shirts every day for work. So I don't mind, but, um, he had like his iron set up. I had mine and we just like pressed every article of clothing and pants and everything. So now they're all hung in the closet and they look brand new again from the store, but this time they're clean, fresh out of the washing machine. So we got all of that done. I just need to um, do like a couple more things or I need to buy a couple more things for my um, hospital bag, for the baby's bag, and that's done. And then my husband really wants to put the car seat in the car. And I said, I think we still have time. We could probably do that around 37 weeks, but I think he just like wants to have it installed and like a just in case, like be ready and prepared. So we may do that this weekend, um, at least put the car seat in. So we'll see. And then I think I'm going to go out today and just get like the last couple items that I need um, for the baby, like just for the drawer to organize like the diaper stuff. And that will be pretty much done. Um, everything is, is pretty much up in the room. I just need to organize like the diaper drawer to put like the diapers. I already have the wipes. Um, and then I just need to get like some accessory things to fill the drawer, um, like stuff that I need for, um, his bottom and things like that. So I'm probably going to go do that today just so I can get that done and completed. I have like my little list that I need to check off that I need to get done. Um, I try to make myself a little like to-do list in the morning, like to get things done. And at least I feel accomplished. I hate when I go like a whole day and just I get tired and I want to sit around or nap and then I'm like, I feel like I've done nothing and I feel like I'm wasting time because I should be doing something. So I try to like write down like little goals or tasks to do. So at least if I can mark something off, I feel accomplished for the day. So I just need to um, get those little like few items done and then um, that's finished. And I think, like I said, for the hospital bag, it's just like a couple items and that's it. I went to uh, Victoria's Secret over the weekend. They were having that like panty party. So I got like my postpartum panties and I was reading on, I think I, I printed out the list from the bump and they had like buy a size larger than what you normally do, like in um, panties because of the pads you have to wear after you deliver. So I figured I just wanted to feel like somewhat decent and pretty because I'm sure you probably feel like crap after you deliver and you're probably not feeling your best. So I thought I'm going to go to Victoria's Secret and at least get some pretty panties that I, you know, would feel good in. So I picked those up because they had the panty party and I need to wash those and then put those in the hospital bag. So everything's pretty much coming together. 
I just, I know that I'm like entering like the last few weeks and everything just kind of like magnifies or intensifies like the pains and the pressure and I'm having so much pressure. Like that's one thing I asked my um, midwife. I said, is it normal to have like pressure in the vaginal area? Like I almost feel like he's going to come out like, and it only happens when I'm laying down. This is really weird. Like when I sleep at night, I start out on my left side and I'll toss and turn quite a bit in the middle of the night. Like I can't just find a spot and be comfortable. I toss and turn a ton trying to get comfortable. So when I turn, it's almost like I'm afraid to because it feels like there's so much pressure down there that like he's just going to come right out. And she said, no, 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 that's normal. And I thought, okay, but I literally feel like I don't want to toss or turn because it's kind of like, it's a weird feeling. Like, I don't know. I, I told her it's like extreme pressure. And she said, no, no, that's normal. I said, okay. Then I won't worry about it. But I kind of got a little panicked a couple nights where I just tried to stay in like one sleeping position because I didn't want to move because I was kind of worried. But I knew I had a doctor's appointment coming up with her. So I knew I could ask and then, you know, put my mind at ease and it was fine. And so <laughs> I guess it's just one of those things. I try not to like stress out my husband. Like I don't want to panic him because he's always like, are you sure we don't need to go to the hospital? Are you sure? And I, I'm one of those and I'm like, no, I'm, you know, it's, it's a symptom. I'm sure it's just, it's a part of the process. Like that's, it's what you feel at this stage of pregnancy. So I try not to like say anything or stress them out unless I know like it's something that I need to be worried about and then I'll say it. But if I know it's like a symptom or something that I've read that it's pretty common, then I just don't say anything just because I don't want to stress him or worry him. And I'm still working out. Um, my workouts are, you know, the same. I just sometimes have no motivation or desire to do them, but I get them done because it's like, I don't, I don't always feel my best if I don't work out. And I notice that I notice like my moods go into this like slump if I don't work out. And it dawned on me the other day because I had to miss a workout. Um, actually yesterday I had an early doctor's appointment and I didn't schedule that when they did. I was like, Oh, this is kind of early and I didn't work out. And I just noticed that I was like sluggish and tired and my mood was like completely like dipped. Like I just didn't feel like myself. So even on the days where I don't feel motivated to work out, I know that I have to for my own like sanity just to feel good. Um, because it's just, it's been like my routine pretty much my whole life. So it's like, I need to keep that up to just like keep the serotonin levels up and just feel good. And you know, even if it's just a walk or a prenatal yoga or something like I need to move. So I made sure this morning when I got up at the crack of dawn that I was up and moving and I feel, you know, good today. I feel like I have energy, which I always have the most energy in the morning. And then probably about two thirty, three o'clock, I have to take a nap because I'm pretty tired. But overall, I mean, it's, it's the nature of the beast. It's just part of pregnancy and I just kind of go along with it. And I know I don't have much longer, so I'm trying to just enjoy it because everyone always says when they're like, the bump is gone, like you miss your bump and you miss being pregnant. And so I'm just trying to enjoy this last, like the last few weeks that I have and just enjoy it. So I'm just kind of embracing it and enjoying the rest of my pregnancy. So I will go ahead and show you guys the bump since I didn't do a 33 week update. I'll show you what it looks like 34. I'm actually almost going into 35 weeks now, but um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the bump. Okay, I have on a dress, so I had to go put on yoga pants. So this is the bump from head on. This is the bump from the side, bump from the back, other side, Okay guys, that's it for my 33, 34 week update. And I'm so glad that you guys are following along on this journey. If any of you are pregnant, I hope that you guys are doing fantastic and feeling great. And thank you so much for following along and I will see you guys soon. Bye.